I'm not moving from this seat. I can assure you. So the Flash just keeps on dominating, huh? Man, this man, Ezra Miller, can choke all the women he wants, but as long as he delivers a banging ass film, I'm all for him, bro. So, according to the EDO, WB's return to the Super Bowl for the first time in 17 years took first place overall, with the Flash performing 24 times better than their Super Bowl ad average holy shit and here we have a brand new image of michael keaton it's the flash this nigga looks like me every time pornhub adds a new black video on their site and listen it's michael keaton he was awesome in the trailer i'm looking forward to his performance old ass michael keaton i will give you your props this time because you did well and i'm looking forward to you bruh i am unsubscribing from this drama and here we have Zack Snyder and Wayne T. Carr's Green Lantern. I think Wayne T. Carr posted this today. I think he's on the uh, sell the hashtag to Netflix, which means his ass is unemployed because James Gunn is not going to hire his ass. <laughs> All joking aside, listen, I feel bad for Wayne T. Carr. I really do. Imagine getting a call from Zack Snyder telling you, hey, you're going to be the first live action James, uh, James, I was about to say, John Stewart, and you're going to be Green Lantern in my movie for Warner Brothers to be like, nah, you ain't, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, you ain't gonna do shit. So you can take your ass back to whatever you were doing, and uh, we're gonna get our own Green Lantern, John Stewart. Preferably, John Boyega, please. Are you, is this a flex? Are you flexing? Why? And I said this before in a previous video. Make sure you guys hit like, subscribe, all that bullshit. I said, if the Flash movie is a banger, it's a 10 out of 10, it's a masterpiece, it's on some Dark Knight Avengers Infinity War levels. I still believe you got to get rid of Ezra Miller. You got to get rid of him. He is a liability because even though he's getting treatment, he's getting help and uh, and Warner Brothers and James Gunn and Peter Saffron says, yeah, you know, he's getting better and better every time. I'm like, OK, cool. But that still doesn't mean he's going to be our Flash because we can get another actor playing the Flash. But that's me. That's me personally. Warner Brothers does not give a shit. Ezra Miller can be filmed throwing a bag of puppies into the fucking sea river but if this movie makes a billion dollars his ass is not going anywhere he ain't going anywhere bro and james gunn could be on the same board with with peter saffron saying listen like listen we, we gotta get rid of ezra miller like we gotta get rid of him it the final decision is up to david zaslav if david zaslav says hey we're not getting rid of ezra miller guess what that means we're not getting rid of ezra miller he's gonna stay so this Flash movie is going to be very, very fascinating to see how it all unravels because the Flash movie is going to change a lot of things in the film and reset the universe, but it damn well may change everything for the future plans of the DCU. Now, I'm not saying now that fucking Henry Cavill is going to come back and Gal Gadot is going to... No, I'm not saying that at all because their ass is gone, unfortunately, because I love Henry Cavill. But Ezra Miller could quite possibly stay. And he could stay and he could be the one he could be the one that remembers everything that happened within man of steel bvs and justice league and meanwhile ben affleck who i hope he stays and the other new members could be like uh who are you <laughs> like you're you're the flash and then barry's like yeah uh you're not gal Gadot. you're not jason momoa you're Ben Affleck's Batman, but you're not the Ben Affleck Batman that I recognize from the Flash movie in BVS. You're a different Ben Affleck Batman, which is why, you know, again, it could be confusing for the general audience because you're like, wait a minute, I thought this was a reboot, but some actors are gone and some are staying. It, it could get complicated. It can. And I don't know what they're going to do. But like I said, money changes everything. And if this Flash movie is a billion dollar smash hit and critics love it and audiences love Ezra Miller as the Flash, there's a very good chance that he could stay. There's a very good chance that he could stay. And that's going to complicate things even further. But I don't know. We'll see what they do. And they could very well replace Ezra Miller even if this movie hits a billion dollars. Even if this movie is beloved and James Gunn still replaces Ezra Miller, I, I gotta give I gotta give props to James Gunn and Peter Saffron. I gotta give props because you could have easily just be like, nah, he's gonna stay. But the fact that you replaced them still, I mean, that 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 says a lot about your venture in this DC universe. But it's all gonna be very interesting, man. It's all gonna be very very interesting. Uh, we'll see what they do. But as always, hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all that bullshit. The links will be in the description down below. And uh, the Flash, 
Either way, whatever what happens, whatever what happens, the Flash movie is looking like an absolute DC banger. And I'm here to see it when that shit releases on June 16th. I'm just waiting for my laptop, waiting for the tickets to be released so I can buy them shits, all right? Love you all. Stay safe. Mwah. Big kiss. I tell you what you look like, but you won't like it. <laughs> I, I, I,